Hello, Alex Crockford here and welcome to episode two of How to Stay Fit on Holiday. The first episode is us in the uh, shops getting our nutrition for the holiday and this episode is all about how to stay fit if you're in a hotel or an apartment and you have no gym and you still want to exercise just with your own body weight. And this is something I'm really passionate about helping a lot of people with because some people don't have the confidence or the money or the time to go to the gym, especially when traveling, let alone at home as well. So this is just a quick workout that you can do when you're traveling around using just your own body weight. And make sure before you get started, you're fully hydrated, you've got some water with you, you're fully warmed up as well. And this workout will only take you 10, 15 minutes and I'll talk about some other really important key factors that you have to take note of when trying to stay fit and healthy and lean when you're traveling or you're on holiday. So let's get straight to the workout. We're gonna go for exercise one, lower body, exercise two, upper body, and exercise three, core, okay? So all parts of your body. Let's start with a split squat for your lower body. So with a split squat, you may have seen it in the gym or at home, you want anything with kind of any medium height level behind you, whether it's a chair or a sofa or this little futon we've got here, and we need one foot to go back up on there. The next foot needs to jump forward so your knee is above your foot here. From this position, stay up nice and tall, and you wanna rest your back foot down, either up onto your toes or on the front of your foot there, it's up to you. From here, level off your hips, keep your chest up, and drop yourself down. Here, my knee is staying nice and strong above the foot. We're using this thigh, these glutes muscles, to lift back up. See this back knee, that's shooting down towards the floor and then pushing back up. Let's go for 10 reps. That's two, three, and you wanna stay nice and tall, tense your stomach in, and let the weight be on your front leg, and keep pushing. Let's go for a few more reps. Try not to allow your knee to cave inwards. So if you come over from this view and get a bit of a close up on the knee, it's really important to this knee to not be falling inwards, but to stay out nice and wide and get these glutes working. Let's go for two more reps. One more rep. Okay, let's switch legs straight over into the next leg. And the same again here, level off the hips, nice and high and dropping down. Find the comfortable place for you. Sometimes you need to hop forwards or backwards. Find whatever's comfortable so then you're balancing strong and you can get a good workout in your thighs and glutes, holding your core strong. This workout doesn't include any cardio, but the, the main reasons why we're doing resistance training is so you can gain lean muscle. When you gain lean muscle, you do burn more calories throughout the day as well, but we will talk about cardio in a second. Let's go for a couple more reps. One more. And if you bunch up all of your resistance training together without any rest, like a circuit, or you have a very small amount of rest, your heart rate will stay up high, you'll get sweating, and that does count for a lot of your cardio as well, and it keeps the heart rate up high. So, exercise two for upper body, a standard push-up. Let's talk you through it. So, your hands, Let's start with just widening your shoulder width and then you come up onto your toes. And when you're here, you want to keep your weight forward so your shoulders are above your hands and you've got this strong plank position. None of this hip sagging or too high. So you've got this plank position, your stomach is strong in here. And now we need to lower ourselves down to the floor, bending at the elbows, lock your shoulders back and start to retract your shoulder blades. It's not all about the front of your body, but retracting your shoulder blades down. Still got that plank position, pushing up. Here, make sure your elbows are pushing inwards. When your elbows push closer together, you're gonna to be able to contract your pecs and your, your uh, chest muscles, okay? So let's repeat that again. Plank position, retract your shoulder blades, elbows out wide, push up with explosion. Let's go for 10 reps, that's two. If this is tough, then you can perform exactly the same exercise with your knees down with just a decreased amount of weight that you're pushing. So if that is too heavy, then you can get some good reps. And remember, the quality of your reps is way better than your ego being too high and doing crappy reps. Get good reps and you will get stronger, you'll gain muscle. Let's go for three more. 
And remember, squeeze shoulder blades, power push away, squeeze the pecs. And one more, and breathe out, breathe the floor away. Okay, good, that was upper body. So the final one in your core, let's go for a mountain climber. So we're gonna go into the same position again, which is still tough on the upper body. We're gonna be working the shoulders. You don't need to do any pressing. All the work comes in the core. So let me just change the angle slightly here. Again, exactly the same position. Shoulders above your hands and a strong plank position. Here, I'm gonna use my core, my stomach muscles to lift the knees in, okay? From this position, one knee comes up nice and high, no movement in the rest of my body. It's not all hip flexors. I want you to engage your core, driving one knee up at a time. I'm not bouncing forwards and backwards. I see a lot of people doing that. My shoulders are staying here, and I want 10 reps on each leg, so it's 20 knees. And you can go as fast as you want, or as slow as you want, but either way, you need to contract in the stomach and the core. Let's keep going for a few more reps and try to get those knees up nice and high to better your mobility and the better your core strength, the better reps you'll be able to get. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, so that is a lower body exercise, an upper body exercise, and a core exercise. That's three exercises, 10 reps of each, It'll be a really quick, simple exercise workout for you to do to go around that three exercises for three or four rounds, and that'll be a quick 10, 15 minute workout. So like I said, that's the resistance training where you're helping build lean muscle all across your body and gain strength as well. But the key aspect that you cannot forget when you're trying to stay fit and lean whilst you're on holiday or traveling is your overall activity. So make sure either your steps are getting done, if you're counting your steps with a, a Fitbit or a tracker of some form, you're swimming, you're running, these things are gonna greatly help. And don't forget the nutrition, it's all about the nutrition. Whilst I'm on holiday, I follow an 80-20 approach, meaning 80% of my food is still healthy, real food that I'm focusing on, and 20% is holiday food that I can enjoy. A bit of ice cream, evenings out, eating whatever I want and things like that. And that's a great way to maintain. I struggle to make progress whilst I'm away, but I'm always maintaining and staying on top of it. Okay, so that is training, nutrition, lifestyle. That is it. Uh, episode three will be coming out shortly after this one. That's all about gym training. If you do have access to a gym, what can you do to stay on top of your physique and your health? So, thanks for watching, don't forget to click subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave any comments below. Thanks again. I'm going to go head out to the beautiful sun now. See you later.